I've got this amazing AI program called Instruct Picks to Picks, and it'll you can upload an image, and you can give it um, a prompt telling the image what to do. And in this case, what I'm doing is I'm finding uh, pictures of crop marks, and I'm enhancing the crop marks. So even if there are subtle and faint crop marks that are difficult to see on the original image, this um, artificial intelligence algorithm is enhancing the image. Now this um, Hugging Face is a website where people who are constructing um, artificial intelligence programs uh, practice um, their you know, new Pro program algorithms for want of a better word they pra they can people can the, this one's being constructed by this Tim Brooks chap you can if you click on that you can email him and I've just uploaded this is the prompt that I'm using preserve the overall structure layout of the original photograph and increase the clarity and sharpness of the crop marks while maintaining a natural appearance the crop marks may be faint and subtle. Is that subtle? With a B. In the original photograph, so please enhance their visibility without introducing, and you can't see the word, it says artifacts. So here it is. Here's an image that I've uploaded, and it's going through its thing right now. And in a minute, you will see this image enhanced. So any kind of crop marks that we can't really see or are too subtle to see in the original image will be enhanced and displayed here. So this is just a, a draft, if you like, program. So when this program actually comes out, it might be even better still. So it's almost finished. And we'll see in a minute what this, what it does for this aerial photograph of these crop marks. And it's about to do it. Any minute now, minute, second, any second. Ah, whoa, look at that, look at that. Wow. Oh. Now, obviously, this is, um, it's it's not giving you the full resolution at the moment. It's only giving you a, a, a subtle, res a smaller resolution. But look at what you can see now, look. It makes it much clearer. So for archaeological purposes, I think this artificial intelligence program, for some reason, it always makes it sort of darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. I don't know why it does that. Maybe there could be something in the prompt that changes that. But you can see so much more. See here, where it's a bit sort of green and, and sort of faded, look at the detail now. Look at it. It really stands out. This bit here, Look, that bit there with the little bump in the middle. Look, you can see it now. Now that bump in the middle is a roundhouse. Look, you can see it much clearer. So this artificial intelligence program could be really good for archaeologists and finding things in the landscape that you can't really see. Now, unfortunately, with it, you can see the every part of the image you can see. So you can see the tractor marks and sometimes you can see what uh, other sort of modern day things are making making it pop out but it really is making a hell of a difference so what I'm going to do now is I've deleted the original image and I'm going to drag and drop this image over here like that now I wonder what will happen if we run it again generate I was doing it a bit quicker. So we'll just see if it enhances it again. <laughs> this might this might go disastrously wrong, but you know, we can uh, we can try and uh, see what happens. I've, you know, just this, this idea just popped into my mind one night and I thought, "Way, way, way, way." Here we go. Any second. Any second now. It might not do anything. Oh, it's made it darker. <laughs> it's made it considerably darker. <laughs> um, but 
even now these this line here that was fainter before is now stronger. Wow! This is incredible. And even some faint marks on this one are now stronger. It's a little pit there, look. A little pit, look. Wow, once this program comes out properly, I think it'll be fantastic. So here's the next one I've started doing. So here's the original. Here is the uh, upgraded, enhanced image. So if I get rid of that, drag this one over to there, and we'll start the process again. Generate. And we'll see if it enhances anything that we can't really see. It's diff I don't think this is going to work so well with the crops. It looks like the crops are in full crop, so maybe this might appear stronger or maybe this line will appear stronger um, we will see in a second when it's gone through its thing um, is anything stronger so this subtle blob here is darker this line here is a bit stronger this line here is a bit stronger um, what were we looking at a minute ago over here maybe something in there is a bit stronger um, but like I said this 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 is a this chap what's his name Tim Brooks he has uh, devised this AI program pix to pix so you can take any picture and you can um, change the picture you know this is sort of mainly done for artistic purposes but um, why, can't, why can't we use it for archaeological purposes? It's working. It's working really well. You know, we, I don't know, we might be able to change it to NDVI or something. Maybe we, maybe we could change the light spectrums and mess around with them. We could do all sorts of things. I don't know if, what kind of image we could upload. Maybe if we could upload a, um, you know, one of those... Um, hyperspectral images if we could upload a hyperspectral image maybe we could uh, you know mess around with the different light spectrums you know the possibilities are endless so yeah I thought I'd show you this because it you know it's it's going to revolutionize how uh, these sort of subtle differences that you can now see that were a little bit faint before there's a bit of a curve in there um, where is it? There's that dark bit there. So yeah, you can see a curve. Well, it's a very faint there. Look, but now it's a bit stronger. So this could be a brilliant for any kind of archaeological work, I reckon.